So the joint investigation team report on 28th September was utterly damning in its verdict on Russian involvement in the shooting down of MH17 in 2014. It was categorically clear that the book missile that was used to shoot down MH17 came from Russia, was transported across the Russian border into Ukraine to the town uh, of Pervomysky, just south of another town called Shnizna, where it was then fired at MH17, killing 298 people, before then returning back into Russia. The JIT was also clear that they'd examined all the other possible scenarios around the downing of MH17 and ruled them all out. They were categorical that this was the only scenario and that this was the truth. The MH17 tragedy has been picked through solidly now for the last two years, so we weren't necessarily expecting the report to come up with new findings. However, it did. They came up with new video and still footage of the, uh, the book missile involved in East Ukraine. They also came up with, quite significantly, a new photo showing a smoke trail of a book missile, confirming the launch location. Probably the most damning of all, though, they went through over 150,000 hours of mobile phone conversations between rebels in East Ukraine, and these included one rebel phoning another and asking for the deployment of a book missile in East U Ukraine to protect against Ukrainian air attacks. Other audio transcripts confirm the deployment of that book missile into Eastern Ukraine, then following the deployment of it to the town where it was then launched, and then calling for it to move back across the Russian border, and further phone calls confirming it had been moved back across the Russian border. This was you know, a categorical smoking gun here, and couldn't have been clearer. I think this report matters because this is an independent investigation and secondly it's a criminal investigation. The burden of proof in which the JIT have gone into has to stand up in, uh, before a court of law. There, there is no room for manoeuvre in the findings of the JIT. It is utterly categorical and they have said they have no doubt whatsoever in the validity of their findings. What happens next is the JIT is tasked ultimately with bringing people to justice. They've identified around 100 individuals who they believe are involved in the MH17 shooting down at some point. They're now going to try and examine those and try to bring evidence against them um, and ideally bring them to trial. I think what will also follow is because the report is so completely damning of Russian involvement um, from start to finish, I think inevitably there will be call for further sanctions on Russia and certainly the sanctions that are in place will not be lifted for some time.